Welcome to the channel. Today we are comparing star crimping to roll crimping when finishing a shot shell case. Now your shot shell consists basically of the outer part which is the hull. At the bottom of the hull we have a primer and then inside the hull goes the powder, over the powder goes your wad, over the wad goes whatever you want to shoot out of it in this case bird. And then you need something to hold the whole lot together that it doesn't just fall apart. Now, we have an option of two there. The first is to basically go with a roll crimp. Now a roll crimp just forces the edges of the hull over itself, holding down a plastic disc. If whatever is inside is loose, if you have a slug or something like that, you can just roll, roll crimp straight on top of the slug and you don't need the overshot disc. The advantage with the roll crimp is that you can basically roll crimp to your heart's content. So effectively you could take half your shot shell and turn it into crimp if you wanted to. You are a lot more flexible in what you stuff inside this as long as you have sufficient roll crimp on the edge that it doesn't come apart. Now we're going to roll crimp. I already have set up my uh, roll crimping die up here and I have uh, a little base station that'll hold the bottom of the shot shell in place so that uh, the die rotates and not the shot shell. Um, I have also added in an overshot disc over the bird shot and uh, we're now going to crimp onto that uh, overshot disc. First though, I have to preheat my roll crimp. And that'll do just fine. Now I'm going to roll crimp some, di uh, some shot shells for you. See how much extra we can get on. <laughs> I think that nicely demonstrates just the flexibility that roll crimp will give you. I mean, you just you can put anything in here and just roll crimp down and that'll be that. The star crimp on the other side is uh, slightly more complicated. We have a choice here. We can go with a six or an eight star crimp, pointed star crimp. Um, for starters, you need quite a hefty press for that because we're applying pressure. You need to pre-crimp and then uh, final crimp with a, with a seating guy and you need to chamfer on it. It's all quite complicated. It's not as simple as a roll crimping guy. Um, worse of all, the star crimp is fussy because the star crimp can only ever really, the petals that you're crimping in, have to be the correct length that they uh, meet cleanly in the middle. The overall height of the shot shell is predetermined. And so anything that you put inside your star crimped shot shell has to conform to that overall height. Now, my height in this, this particular wad here is a 24 millimeters. If I were using a 16 millimeters, the star crimp wouldn't take. It had nothing to press again. It would collapse on itself. And if I went larger, call it 28 or something like that, we probably wouldn't get the crimp on. And even if we would, because there's so much pressure behind it, it would fail. That means it's not always suitable. And in case of, for example, buckshot, buckshot's very hard to get a good uh, star crimp on, on, to, on top of buckshot without using an overshot disc. And so star crimp in many ways is the industry standard for birdshot, but is a lot more fussy and it's not as easy to do. I'm gonna demonstrate a star crimp on this uh, Mech 600 Junior. And the first station does the pre-crimp. We can see that the pre-crimp has formed petals Okay, 
Now comes the, uh, the final crimp where we're going to push the petals down. And this then is the final crimp. Right, I'll do a few more for you. That's your star crimp in a nutshell. In conclusion then, Roll crimping or star crimping uh, both achieve the same lot. Roll crimping is perhaps a little easier to do and a lot more flexible. Star crimping on the other hand doesn't require the overshot disc and uh, has that slight air of being more professional. If you're going to do quantity, star crimping is probably still the quicker of the two. But if you're going to experiment or do something out of the ordinary, I'd go with raw crimp every time. I hope this has been interesting and we will see you next time. Goodbye for now.